that's the shaft machine down to finish size in the thread cut I need to make a new nut I've got a nice bit of hexy brass bar there I'm going to make a nice brass nut out of that and part the piece off and then cut the thread which is seven and a half TPI by 30 mil I need to measure the core diameter and that's what size you bore the hole plus a little bit so we'll face one end, part a bit off and then go from there about the same thickness as the other, the other nut. The same length rather. Sort of make it, you can tell where it wants to go in, it wants to be a nice fit. Tighten up on the master jaw once again, and hopefully, it's a mile away, but it will reface that. And put it hard against the chuck jaw, probably to the hole that's the hole is not running through in the centre. Not the end of the world, it's running through and I'm finished boring it. Twenty six point five is what I'm looking for. Six point five is what I've got. Just machine a little, a little lead onto the start of the thread just to protect it a little bit.
that's the tool I'm going to be using to cut the thread. It's a 55 degree hand grown tool. I'm going to feed the cut on using the compound slide. So I need to set this it off at 55, which is 27.5 degrees. Well, 27 is the way to do it, I think. 25, 26, 27. Right, so it's 27 from the other side because the angle of the compound slide needs to be the same as the angle of the tool. So the tool wants to be going in like that, and that wants to be 27 degrees. So we'll go up 90. 10, 20. Seven. Right, the next thing to set up is the angle of the tool to the job. So we put that in there like that. And that tool is set at 90 degrees. That's better. So tweaking it together absolutely spot on, it's important it's right. And that looks good there. So we'll lock that up. And I know for a fact it's on centre height. Right, so if we look at the angle of the tool, which is that angle there, put a straight edge on it, you can see it's at the same angle as the compound slide. So we put the thread on, I put the cut on like that, and it just cuts on the front part of the tool. So I'm basically getting near to be set up. I'm just going to touch this off. I'm going to be going from the outside room where that will cut a right hand thread. And it's not a blind hole, so it's quite simple to run through the back of it. I haven't moved the gearbox or the change wheels since we were originally set up, so everything's going to be good to go there. But once again, once I start to cut this thread, I'll have to leave the, the lead screw engaged all the time and just reverse the layers back out. Having the clutch on the layers makes this quite easy or easier. If you're having to stop the motor, it would be a, a lot more difficult. Right, so we'll go in this time with a cross slide to get some clearance. Reverse the layers back out. Cross slide back out to zero. A little bit of coat put on, and then we're ready to ready to go again. There's one or two marks in there from an earlier uh, experiment, but we will be able to get this thread go no problem. Disengage, cross slide in, near reversed. Near forward, cross slide back to zero. I've also got a zero set on the DRO. A little bit of cut on the compound slide. Back to go again. get a routine and do it the same every time because it's so easy to make a mistake
actually was rather rather splendid I think one more or two more spring passes and we're going to be about there cut on exactly the same setting as before His straight hand. That's good, that's all the way in, that's all the way through. And put a nice chamfer on this side of the nut, turn it round, reface the other side, and that's just about the job done. Quite a nice tool, lad. It's not a tool I ground, it's a tool I inherited, uh, but it really is a nice, nicely made tool. Been a lot of time spent on that one. They normally stop at 30 degrees, which is half of the 60 degree metric thread. Sort of chamfer on the end of the nut. I just want to take a little bit of that thread out of there just to protect it. A little bit more shampoo as well, I think. Right, that's it done. The nut's a nice fit. It's not piss wobbly slack, but it's not tight. It's just nice, and it certainly isn't going to give any problems. I wouldn't have thought. I quite enjoy doing that. It's nice. I do like a good bit screwing. 
If it was a feed run, it would be two slack, but for what it is, it's going to be absolutely spot on. Once again, it's just time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes we come to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. This way. What are you doing, Deb? Making the dinner. What are you doing with that carrot? No comment.